Do you ever have one of those days where you can't remember what's going on? Now, I know I gotta do something, but off the top of my head, just can't remember what it is. <coughs> oh. Now I remember. Trying a new mount. It's a rigid piece. It's not all wobbly, wobbly, wobbly with the big end on it. So hopefully that'll keep you from shaking too much. And it's up in a corner of the windshield that I hope will allow me to film most of myself without too many problems. Now, it's slightly too small for the camera, but we'll see if it stays in there. Hopefully it won't bounce out when I hit ginormous potholes, which probably will happen just because, you know, me. So today, found out that another employee quit. Actually, it turns out it was a conspiracy with all three employees. So what happened is the first one was pissed because I got hired to be the manager. He insisted that he should get the chance to be the manager when he was consistently selling four to six cars a month. You can't go from selling four to six cars a month to being a manager. You're not even proving that you can take care of yourself. How are you supposed to be in charge of others when you can't even produce a minimum number of cars for yourself? So they obviously passed on him, hired me, because even though he is a few years older than me, I have just as much experience in the business as he does, and I have a better selling record, period. So he talked a new guy who, quite frankly, he had taught, so that guy wasn't doing very well anyway, but we had a chance to re rehabilitate him as it was, but he took him with him. What happened was he went first, had his interview, got hired at a dealership, sent his buddy, the one he took with him over there and got him a job over there, and then he had a third person go over there. Now, I happen to know where they went. I happen to know the managers over at that store. Now, the used car, new car sales industry is one where you can get fired from a place today and by the end of the day have a job at a place literally down the street, which is what happened. Now, his selling record and the fact that he took a noob that doesn't know what he's doing with him, coupled with everything else, means he's not going to last long there either. But of course it's going to be management's fault, underutilization, blah, 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 I used to run a finance department, blah, 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 I deserve all this, blah, blah, blah. I never feel that way. Every day when I go into work, I'm like, shit, what do I have to do to not get fired? And while there's probably a slight better medium between holy crap I'm gonna get fired and I deserve all this and everybody should just get the hell out of my way I don't know what that is my thing is give 145 percent to your company and as long as they return the investment to you in terms of gratitude promotions things like that then you stay you do it you give all you have to the company you work for because then it becomes a career it becomes a family it becomes something that you can rely on versus these cats that come in and they think they're gonna rule the world after selling four cars a month for three months three months he sold a total of like 15 cars I could do that in three weeks with my eyes closed at this place so and I've threatened to come out onto the floor and sell for a month to show everybody how it's done. And they might take me up on it, and then I'll have to put my money where my mouth is. But it ain't hard. Not where we are. Not what we're doing. Not how we're selling vehicles. So, yeah, if people want me to, I will. But then they get embarrassed and go, oh, I didn't realize he was going to do that. Yes, I do that because I give all of myself. But, anyways, going back to what I was saying. So we're down three salespeople. However, the three salespeople were down equal one good salesperson. Now, the only sad part about three people leaving is coverage, because we only had seven salespeople to begin with, now we're down to four, five, and so we had eight. Huh, <laughs> math ain't my good suit, that's why I'm in car sales. But anyways, now that we're down people, there's gonna be more people working more hours, and that's the only downside to all of this. We'll get by though, we've got a couple of guys coming in that have been in the business. I have a friend of mine that I'm trying to get in there and I'm trying to get a couple of my other old buddies. Guys I know that do the job right and they do the job wholeheartedly. They make all their phone calls, check their emails, return requests from people and the little things. There's a thousand little things that are one percent. Yes, it adds up to more than 100%, but if you do a thousand things right and a 1% better, the 
entire experience gets better. And I'm not saying you personally have to do the full thousand things, but if you do a handful of things and your neighbor does a handful of things and everybody does a handful of things right, at the end of the day, you're going to be in a much, much stronger position in your job, in your career, in your life. So please take that as I say it, take it with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm not trying to point fingers or be mean, but please don't ask for free handouts, especially when you have given that person proof that you don't deserve them. But by all means, if you're the guy that's in there 14 hours a day working bell to bell and you're giving up all your time off and you drive halfway across the country in order to get a car for a customer, you deserve the accolades. You deserve to be promoted. If you work for me, you would get promoted. But as long as you sit and you don't do the job, you don't deserve anything. So that's about it. Uh, there's a cop behind me, so I'm going to stop waving my arms around as much. And uh, that's about all I have for today. So in conclusion, do your job, do it well. Make your bosses proud, impress people, show people that you're not just about that little paycheck because there's thousands of dollars of difference in doing your job right and doing your job half-assed. So, till we talk again, see you later.